Hey guys, Quint with Long Care Ninja here. We are at GIE Expo 2021, and I am here with none other than Ed Wright, the uh, CEO of, right. of uh, Wright Mowers. How are you doing? Good, good to be with you. So, for in, in a sea of mowers and competitors, can you give me a couple things that set you guys apart for uh, the guy out there who's like thinking about going with this one or this one or this one? Yeah. I think there's probably a couple things along those lines. First off is that having come from the landscaping business ourselves, we're, we're not in the business of trying to make uh, the cheapest mower or some price point or some standard set of specs. Um, it's really about how do we try to make the machine that's heavy duty, as reliable as possible, uh, maximum amount of production. So it's, it's really, today it's really all about productivity. The, the labor market's really challenging. And so a machine that can turn time into money faster if it means that you can do one or two more jobs by the end of the day on your same fixed costs, you're making more revenue. That is a huge impact on your profitability. And so just that that focus there. I think the other thing is that the reality is this business really uh, runs around relationships. And so uh, having a really good relationship with your dealer, and that's what I tell people, hey, what mower should I buy? Buy a mower from the best dealer in your area. That's the, the right choice. And I hope that is the right dealer. Um, but that relationship is extremely important. That dealer's relationship with us is really important. And a lot of times those, rela re those relationships last a lifetime. Um, the landscaping business is one of these things where most people who are run, run a landscape company, that's where they grew up. They're doing business with people they know, people they have relationships, same with dealers. Uh, they grew up in that community, They're people they know. And so those relationships are really important. I think um, in the sea of mowers that, you're, you, that you say, I think um, there's a lot of these uh, these larger companies that they just they're not in touch uh, at that level yeah. um, and you know they're maybe a public company and their their primary obligation is quarterly earnings that's just a different perspective than what we're doing um, and so yeah we're, we're passionate about that landscaping itself and we bring that to the equipment well the yellow certainly helps you guys stand out because everyone you know almost seem to be red and yeah. and you know other colors uh, so is there anything new in uh, for 2022 that you guys have been uh, working on that you're gonna be releasing yeah there's a couple things that are newer to us well first off with the machine right behind me this came out last fall we didn't have GIE at that time but this is a big rider 40 horsepower has the oil guard system so it's a 500 hour oil change interval the hydro system has a thousand hour interval, so no grease fittings, very, very low maintenance, extremely powerful. The whole seat frame floats up and down, so very, very comfortable, huge machine. Um, this year, what we've come out is the machine behind there, and it's one step down. So it has that same commercial heavy dutyness to it, but it doesn't have the oil guard system. It has a transaxle drivetrain instead, um, it goes from 26 inch tires to 24 inch tires. Um, it's lighter, so it's more nimble. It's more of the type of machine you might bring on back-to-back -back residential properties, whereas this bigger machine here, that's really for acreage. Um, and so that machine really hits that sweet spot. It's still almost the same torque. We go from 40 horsepower to 37 horsepower, but it's the same engine block. So under torque, it's gonna deliver close to the same experience. And with this rider comes the bagger. Uh, we've developed a new blower. Uh, most blowers in the market today are not intended to be matched up with a 40 horsepower engine. I've always felt that it's kind of unfortunate that so many blowers can't keep up with the deck or the engine yeah. can't keep the blower going and in this case uh, we can we can cut eight inch deep grass full speed and the blower is going to get everything in the bagger without plugging now not that you're going to cut that fast it starts not looking <laughs> so good but my point here is that we wanted to be sure that we had enough power going to the blower for the deck could keep up with it the third thing that we got is the robotic mower which is a whole other topic yeah yeah I mean robotics is a huge thing here at GIE this year and I'm excited to see where that industry goes so I'm definitely gonna be looking out for what you guys can do uh, as far as like maintenance how easy is it to on like the smaller mowers you know for the smaller companies maybe like how easy is it to like change the blades you know yeah so uh, the stand on mowers there's some things because it's such a small mower that are crammed in there but on the other hand we have a number of things that flip open or whatever and so you don't have to reach past a whole lot to get to it so um, when you flip up the back or take off the toe shield you get to a ton of stuff changing the blades you know a, a mower jack where you tilt up the front pop the blades off uh, really they're they're pretty easy to take care of at the end of the day um, the biggest thing in terms of reliability and keeping things going 
is actually just listening. If, if you're running the same machine every day and it just doesn't sound right, mm -hmm. if you keep running it, probably something more expensive is gonna go wrong than if you stop and try to resolve if that issue is serious or not or fix it right away when anything seems just a, a little out of sorts. Yeah. All right, well, I've uh, used a right mower for several years. It was a 32 inch stander and uh, it was a great machine, really reliable, cut great, fast. Um, so if you guys are in the market for a uh, new mower, check out Wright, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later.